the question of dna test all over nigeria let's watch people on the street being asked their opinion about dna test on their kids welcome back to another video thank you so much my returning subscribers god bless you all thank you so much i really appreciate you guys so let's go to the street of nigeria about the dna anybody who's running away from dna test is actually wrong that's for me it's wrong so your husband said i want dna test couldn't find of the children very well i'll do everything for them it's not their fault it, it's the fault of the woman Maybe if you don't have that trust for me and you feel that I can go and bring it, somebody's child to your home, let me just go and give the person the child. Because they do a lot of things to us that we enjoy a lot in our metro. At times we'll be dying in silence, but we'll keep quiet just for us to maintain our home. And then if you are, you, you are with your woman and you don't have that trust for me, that means you are doing something that is out of your wedlock. So if you don't trust me and you feel that I can do that, I'll, I will move. Because that one day in the labor room is not easy. And the nine months that we carry a child is not easy. After the nine months, is the mother to the child. So you, you know, your, your mind is clear. You don't, you, you, you're not an adulterer. You haven't slept with someone's husband. So why shouldn't your husband? It should be something of excitement to you and your children because you're looking at the future. You want them to be protected. There's one of my friends that after she had like two kids with her husband, the third one, according to her, that was when she came visiting me. She visited me in Abuja, and when she went back, she took in for that pregnancy and there was such issue like that and she now called me that I should hear this is what is the husband said that this is this, 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 that the pregnancy is not from him I said what did you do did you go in out of your matrimonial home she said no I tried to ask, ask, ask her some few questions she answered me so I didn't like it but she stood her ground that okay the man should go and look for money that immediately the baby comes out, they will go for DNA test. It becomes a family issue, but at the end of it all, it was resolved in a peaceful way. And if you need to see that baby, among the other two that the man claimed that is his own, that this is the one that looked like the husband. No, it's going to be like <laughs> the end of our relationship. Yes, I'm going to leave because number one thing in any relationship or whenever is trust, because without trust, Everything is. It's um. If I'm married and my husband wants to find out or wants to uh, via DNA, it's appropriate. Um, it is not an issue of uh, mistrust or whatsoever people may think about. It's just to be sure of something. You know, the world is getting uh, fierce. The world is getting dirty each day. So you can actually know what's happening except you do the right thing. So I think. Anybody who's running away from DNA test is actually wrong. That's for me. It's wrong. So your husband said, I want DNA test. Couldn't find. Go up, go do that. Since you know he's your legitimate husband, there's nothing wrong about that. No, actually. If I'm conducting DNA test, it means I don't trust my wife in any way. Now, nah, I don't think it's necessary. Uh, when if the need arise, I mean, and I mean when you know your conscience is, is very clear, and maybe you don't, maybe like uh, as a father you didn't, you don't, you don't have any reason to doubt that the children are not your own. So you go and maybe conduct it to make sure, as in to, just to make sure that you clear the air or make it to be free. The children are not mine. It's a matter of understanding. I'm trying to like take it the way it is. I don't think trying to kill somebody or even killing yourself will be the answer. Maybe there's a, there's there's a more, so many ways of resolving the issues. Uh, if they are still very young and they have, to, have to, they have to meet their real father and everything now. But like if I've raised them and they are grown now, nah, you're not taking my kids away now. I don't care. If it's someone that I actually trusted. I would lose that, like that trust won't be there anymore. But I won't take it out on the kids, I won't blame it on them. Uh, uh, no, I'm a Muslim. The Islam says once the woman is in my house, 
you know, if the gold is there are not mine, since she, I didn't divorce her, she, they belong to me. I have to bear the consequences. Or to reach there in the hereafter then, anything can happen. But for here, as far as Islam law is concerned, they belong to the owner. I feel bad. But then they're children. Okay? But certainly there won't be much love with the mom anymore.